So in this video, we are going to learn how to send TradingView alerts on Discord. Let's say you are using TradingView and you have created some kind of alert for different stocks in TradingView as well. Now you want that whenever you get the alert message in TradingView, you want to post that same message on your Discord channel where you have some members as your community. Now let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. In this automation, whenever you are going to receive a new alert message in TradingView, automatically the same message will be posted on our Discord channel as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my TradingView account. Now I want that whenever I get an alert message in my TradingView account, I want to share or send that same message on my Discord channel as well. Let's say I have a huge community on Discord on which I want to constantly send stock alerts from my TradingView account for the alerts which I'm creating over here. Now to do this, we have to connect our TradingView account with Discord. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, just go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And here you can see we have reached to the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. If you're new to Pabli, just click on sign up free and you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabli user, just click on sign in. After clicking on sign in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now here in this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow. Just click on create workflow button and give this workflow a name. So I'll name it as trading view to discord. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then after that, just select the folder of your Pavli account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. Now, as we click on create, you can see the workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our trading view account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever a new alert message is received in trading view, the exact same alert message will also be received inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, using this public connect automation, we are going to send that exact same message and post it on our Discord channel as well. That too automatically. So let's see how it is done. Here in trigger window in choose app, search for trading view. Just select it. After selecting trading view in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new alert. After selecting this trigger event, public connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our TradingView account with Pabli Connect. And to add this webhook URL in our TradingView account, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your TradingView account. After coming to the TradingView account, we have to create an alert over here. So what we are going to do, we will just open the full chart of the index or the stock for which we want to create the alert. Let's take an example of Nifty 50 index. I'll just open the full chart of this index. And after that, we are going to create an alert for Nifty 50. Click on this create alert button and we have to enter the alert condition. So I'm selecting Nifty 50 over here and the alert type is crossing. So from this drop down here, you can see different alert types which you can set up. I'm selecting crossing over here. I want to set up the alert condition on price and not on volume. So I'm selecting price. And the price which I'm selecting is 21,915 over here. So for this particular price, let's say I'm creating the alert. Then it is asking us for the trigger. Then how many times we want this alert to be triggered? Only once or every time. Now, if you select only once, then for the first time when this particular index or stock will be crossing this particular amount, for the first time when this condition will be fulfilled, only once we'll get the alert message. And if we select every time over here, then every time this index or stock will be crossing this price, we will be getting the alert. So we have selected every time over here. Then it is asking us for the expiration, that when this alert is going to get expired. 
let's say i want to set up the expiration date as 24th of april and the time is for example 4 pm so i want at this date and time this alert should be expired so i'm selecting this you can basically select any date and time in the future of your choice then it is asking us for the alert name so i like to name my alert as nifty 50 to discord you can basically give any other name to the alert of your choice and at last we have to create the alert message that on fulfilling this condition what is the alert message we want to receive so here in the message section you can see the default message is nifty 50 crossing and we have the price but after that let's say i want to make some changes over here messages nifty 50 is crossing this price and then i want to mention the current price the volume at which it is trading at the name of the exchange and the name of the index or the stock as well so what we are going to do here below message you can see this question mark just click on it and on the right side this section will open in front of us so here in the message section of trading view if you want you can add some special placeholders as well and the text or the value of those placeholder will be replaced with the current value of that particular stock or the index so here the section which is open on the right side here you can see a list of all the variable values which you can add in your message let's say this is the example of multiple variables where we are mentioning the exchange the ticker the close price and the volume so if we add these variable and create this kind of message over here then you can see whenever this alert will be received this kind of message will be received we will be having the name of the exchange name of the ticker then after that you can see we have the price over here the close price and the volume at which it is trading at in this way if you'll scroll down here you can see a list of all the available placeholders which you can add in your alert message so you can refer to the section and you can create any alert message of your choice and add any placeholders over here let's say i'm taking an example of this particular placeholder this particular set of placeholder i'm adding this set of placeholders over here we are having exchange then after a colon we are having the ticker over here then we are entering the close price over here that what is the close price at what price it is the stock is at right now and then we have the volume that at what volume this stock or index is trading right now you can create any message of your choice now after creating the alert message and entering all the details what we have to do we have to add the webhook url so that this alert message can be received inside Pavli connect so from this settings section we will go to this notification section and under notification you can see this option of webhook url just select this option and in the field below we have to enter the exact same webhook url which Pavli connect gave us just copy it from here and then paste it over here after pasting the webhook url just click on create and as we click on create this alert is created in our trading view account we have created the alert for nifty crossing 21915 mark but right now nifty is trading at 21932 or 35 over here so let me change the alert value over here so i'll just edit this alert and make the alert for 21930 and the same alert message will be updated as well so just now i have updated this alert over here and after updating the alert we will see whenever this alerts condition will be fulfilled we will get the alert message and yes here you can see because nifty has just crossed 21930 we have received the alert message and because we have added the webhook url in this alert we will see in our public connect workflow in this trigger step we have received the response and yes in this response you can see the exact same message which we have created in trading view nifty is crossing 21930 we have the name of the exchange that is nsc we have the name of the index or the stock for which we have created this alert then we have the current price that at what price it is trading right now and the volume that at what volume it is trading right now so in this way whatever alert message you are going to create in trading view the same alert message will be received inside Pavli connect by adding a webhook url so the step one of setting up this automation is completed now let's move to step two and in step two we are going to send this exact same message on our discord channel to share it with our community members as well for that we will scroll down and come to this action step and here in choose zap we are going to search for discord just select it after selecting discord in action event from the drop down select the action event as send channel message html then just click on connect after clicking on connect the first thing it asks us is the webhook url now here to connect our discord account with Pavli connect first we have to generate a webhook url in our discord server 
And after generating that webhook URL, we have to enter that webhook URL over here in this field. Now, in the help text below, you can see this hyperlink. Just click on this link and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you can see a step-by-step -step guide that how you can get the webhook URL for your Discord channel. Now, to get it, I'll just go to my Discord account and after opening our server, click on this down arrow and we have to go to server settings. After coming to server settings, go to integration and under integration, you can see this option of webhooks. Click on this view webhooks button. Here you can see a list of all the webhooks which I have created for my Discord channel. And to add a new one, click on this new webhook button and then you can see this new webhook URL is generated. We'll just rename this webhook as trading view. And then here we have to select the channel that for which channel we are creating this webhook. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the channels which I have. Out of all of this, the channel on which I want to post the trading view alerts is named as stock alerts. So I'm selecting this channel over here. Then after that, just click on save changes. And as we click on save changes, these changes are updated. Now click on copy webhook URL, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And this webhook URL is pasted in our Pabli Connect workflow. And using this webhook URL, we have connected our Discord channel with Pabli Connect. After entering the webhook URL, it is asking us for the message. That what is the message that we want to share, which we want to post on our Discord channel. So we have received the alert message from TradingView in the trigger step. And from this trigger step response, we are going to map this response of exact same message to this Discord action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see the same response which we have received from TradingView of a new alert over here. So from this drop down, just select this response of alert message and map it. After mapping the message, here it is asking us for the bot name that what will be the name of the bot who is going to post this message on our Discord channel. We have the freedom to rename the bot as well. Let's say I would like to name my bot as Trading View. You can basically give any other name of your bot. Also, the bot icon can also be changed. So the image of the bot which is going to post the message, you can change that image. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image which you want to set up as the bot icon in this field. Because this field is not mandatory, is not required, we are just going to ignore this field for now. And at last, it is asking us text-to-speech. So if you want to enable text-to-speech, just select enable, but I don't want to enable it, so I'm selecting disable over here. In this way, we have basically set up this Discord action step where we have added the webhook URL, mapped the message, and given the name for the bot as well. After entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have entered over here, this message is now posted on our Discord channel for which we have generated this webhook URL. So let's check it. We will go to our Discord account and yes, here you can see this exact same message is posted on our Discord account. Nifty is crossing 21,930. NSC Nifty, the price is this is the current price at which it is trading at and this is the current volume. And because we have an active alert in our Discord channel, we will see whenever this alert will be received, whenever Nifty 50 will be crossing this particular price for which we are creating the alert. Using this automation, we are going to post the messages on our Discord channel. So after that, here you can see we have another message which is saying that once again Nifty 50 has crossed this price and this is the current price. And at this volume, it is trading right now. So in this way, using this automation, we will be keep on posting all the alerts which we are getting in our trading view account on our Discord channel as a message. And yes, here you can see just now, once again, it has received the alert in trading view over here, as you can see, and the same alert message is received on our Discord channel as well. This is the message and this is the current status. At this volume, this it is trading right now and this is the price. So I hope this video was helpful to you. This was the complete automation workflow between TradingView and Discord. And using this automation, you can send the TradingView alert messages automatically on your Discord channel. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. 
So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at redpabby.com. Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabry Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.